वेलकम दिस शॉर्ट प्रेजेंटेशन इज ऑन बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट अकाउंटिंग बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट रिकॉर्ड्स एवरी इंटरनेशनल इकोनॉमिक ट्रांजैक्शन बिटवीन रेजिडेंट ऑफ अ कंट्री एंड फॉरेन रेजिडेंट इन दिस वीडियो वी शेल डिस्कस हाउ टू रिकॉर्ड ट्रांजैक्शन इन बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट अकाउंट बट बिफोर दैट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स अबाउट बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट अकाउंटिंग फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट अकाउंटिंग सिस्टम इज बेस्ड ऑन डबल एंट्री बुक कीपिंग कन्वेंशन which means that every entry is recorded twice once as a debit and once as a credit second important thing is balance of payment is always balance now because balance of payment accounting system is based on double entry bookkeeping convention therefore total of debit entries is always equal to total of credit entries so it is illogical to say that balance of payment is in disequilibrium balance of payment is always in equilibrium and it is always balance If balance of payment is always balanced then what do we mean by surplus or deficit of balance of payment normally the surplus or deficit of uh, of balance of payment actually means surplus or deficit of current account of balance of payment so actually the balance of payment as a whole is is always balanced there is no disequilibrium in balance of payment fourth important thing is that inflow of funds into the country is recorded with positive sign and is recorded as credit for example exports result in inflow of funds therefore exports are recorded with positive sign and are recorded as credit whereas outflow is recorded with negative sign and is recorded as debit for example imports result in outflow of funds therefore imports are recorded with negative sign and are recorded as debit now let's take a look at accounts of balance of payment there are three major accounts in balance of payment one is current account second is capital and financial account and third one is foreign reserve account capital account records four types of transaction first one is exports and imports of goods which is also known as balance of trade second is export and import of services for example banking services transportation services or other financial services etc third type of transaction is known as factor income or payment factor income or payment actually is the income or payment due to three types of transaction for example profit dividend or interest so if you are receiving profit dividend or interest it is factor income and if you are paying profit dividend and interest outside the country it would be a factor payment fourth item is known as other transactions other transactions include the income or payment due to gifts or pension or grants etc so all these types of gifts and pensions and grants and remittances are recorded in other types of transactions in current account second account of balance of payment is capital and financial account capital and financial account records three major types of transaction first one is direct foreign investment the investment which results in the transfer of ownership is known as direct foreign investment but if investment does not uh, does not result in transfer of ownership then it would be known as portfolio investment so portfolio investment actually means the investments in shares and other types of securities which does not involve transfer of ownership and third type of transaction is known as other trade items other trade items like items and claims like accounts receivables trade related accounts receivables trade related accounts payable and bank accounts are recorded in capital and financial account third account is foreign reserves account and it actually represents changes in um, official reserves of the government 
If the government makes a transaction in foreign reserves, then it would be recorded in foreign reserve account. So it represents government transactions of foreign reserves, foreign exchange reserves in the form of uh, foreign currencies or maybe in the form of gold or maybe in the form of now if there is an inflow due to exports of goods due to exports of services or factor income or receiving gifts or grants or receiving direct foreign investments or if uh, the investors from outside the country making portfolio investments uh, then all these inflows would be recorded as credit item and would be recorded with a positive sign on the other hand if there is an outflow of funds from due to uh, import of goods, imports of services or factor payment or uh, sending gifts and grants and making foreign direct investments in other countries or portfolio investments then this, all these transactions would be recorded with negative sign and would be recorded as debit. Now it is very important to understand uh, how to record transactions in foreign reserves account. Normally whenever there is an increase in foreign exchange reserves of the government it is recorded as debit and whenever there is a decrease in foreign reserves account of the government then it is recorded as credit so in later examples we shall see that why this is so why we are recording increase in foreign currency reserves as debit and decrease in foreign currency reserves as credit so at this point it is important to understand the the nature of accounts and types of transactions which are recorded in these three types of accounts there is a fourth account in balance of payment which is known as errors and omissions it is meant to preserve the balance of balance of balance of payment now because if due to any omission or due to any error there is a slight disequilibrium in in balance of payment then this amount is recorded in the fourth account the errors and omissions account and the basic purpose is to make uh, the balance of payment balance here in this the, in this video we we shall not discuss uh, the entries in error and omissions account but i've given you a short description that why this account is actually used it is uh, it is used to preserve the balance of balance of balance of payment now let's take examples of some transactions to understand that how to record transactions in balance of payment account. Let's suppose that you want to import a digital camera from China. Now let's write this importing digital camera from China worth uh, 1500 Chinese won at the rate what is the exchange rate between Chinese currency and Pakistani rupee this is let's let's assume 13.333 so at the rate of 13.333 Pakistani rupee per Chinese won which is equal to 20,000 Pakistani rupee it means that you need 20,000 Pakistani rupee to to buy digital camera from China but important thing here is that Chinese seller of digital camera will not receive Pakistani rupee he will demand Chinese won so before buying the camera you need Chinese won so what you will do you will convert your 20,000 Pakistani rupee into 1500 Chinese won and then you will buy digital camera from uh, from these 1500 Chinese won now if you focus we are doing in this in this example we are doing two transactions basically first is that we are giving 20,000 Pakistani rupee and we are receiving 1500 Chinese won and then we are giving 1500 Chinese won and receiving digital camera uh, worth 1500 Chinese won let me use a different terminology for this just to give you uh, an explanation and just to give you an idea that how to record transactions 
let's say let me say that we are actually exporting 20000 pakistani rupee and we are importing 1500 chinese won at uh, in first step and in second step we are exporting uh, 1500 chinese won and we are importing digital camera so if you focus what we are exporting and what we are importing then following this fourth principle we can easily record transactions in balance of payment account for example in this case what we are doing first of all we are exporting 20000 pakistani rupee and we are importing 1500 chinese won definitely this involves bank accounts you will export 20000 rupee in your bank account and you will receive 1500 chinese won in your bank account so bank accounts are recorded in capital account in capital account of balance of payment now due to because it is international economic transaction therefore it would it it will be recorded in balance of payment account so let's record this transaction in capital account the first transaction is that we are importing what we are importing okay let's 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 write ex exports first we are exporting uh, bank account and this is P Pakistani rupee 20,000 now exports are recorded as with, with positive sign and are recorded as credit therefore this 20,000 would be recorded in credit column this is 20,000 and what we are importing we are importing Chinese won so the second aspect of this transaction is importing bank account and this is Chinese won 1500 now because we are importing here so imports are recorded with negative sign and uh, are recorded as debit so therefore in the debit column we shall record negative 20 thousand now after this transaction you can uh, you can observe two important things that one is that balance of payment as a whole is balance the balance is zero and all the individual accounts are also balanced there is no surplus or deficit in accounts of balance of payment so this is a transaction first transaction we have exported uh, Pakistani rupee 20,000 and we have imported Chinese won 1500 which is equal to 20,000 Pakistani rupee now the second aspect of this transaction is that you will definitely you will uh, import digital camera from these 1500 Chinese won which are now in your bank account 